Hello guys and welcome to another Sinner in this video. So today we'll be going over the daily priorities as well as the AP priorities and I'll just be showing you what I do on a normal day-to-day -day basis in Sinner Alice. So first of all, if you'd want to claim your daily grimoire, this is completely free to roll and features the same rate, so 3% chance of getting an SR and on the 30th day you will be guaranteed an SR. Next thing is the Friend Medal. So make sure you use your friend middle and buy the five twilight crystals every day. And then next, this new feature they've added, which is to watch the ad. That will get you another five twilight crystals every 12 hours. So let's go ahead and do that. The next biggest priority is then to do the prison event. So there are just under three days left now for this event. It is one of the more important ones and I'd say it's worth doing over any other dungeon if you haven't already cleared it. So there are currently 300 stages to clear and that will get you prison medals. Basically the best thing you can get from there is the armour. So the deep sea armour, you can actually get it for any class that you want to play. And that will boost your water weapons as well as do extra damage to dragons. And it's one of the best armours as it goes to SR which is currently the highest rank that you can evolve your armour to. After that, the next priority is the Xmas dungeon. So I basically am farming so that I get the full amount of individual medals. So that's 121k medals that I'm aiming for so that I can get all of the Twilight Crystals. So the highest I can farm on auto is EX1. So that's what I'll be farming. I'll just leave it on auto sometimes. If I can't be bothered, then I'll just go and summon my freeze column and the final boss. But other than that, pretty much full auto. And I will just keep repeating that until all my AP is out and then I'll purify. And after purifying I'll just go straight back into it. It's just under a week left now and I think I'm around I'm on around 70,000 so I've got around another 50k to go so I've got to farm hard in order to get all the free twilight crystals. Um, what I then do is leave around 135 AP so that I can do the co-op mode and you can check the event timers which I'll link below. The reason I leave 135 specifically is so that I can do three rounds of the weapon grilla event. You don't have to do that in specific dungeon, you can just do any dungeon. I actually do need uh, power up XP though so that's why I've been doing this. I'm only doing three though for the friend medals because the other things are higher priority to me. So I've done that now, three runs, just quickly claiming my daily mission stuff. So you can see I've got the three friend medals now and I'll just go and claim those daily rewards. Next priority is to wait until the conquest event, so I'll just wait till then. So now Dragon of the Depths is up. And again, I'm just going to do co-op mode. So in theory, I didn't actually need to do the weapon gorilla. I could have just got my free friend medals from this. Um, so I'll just farm this for a bit. And basically, I'll farm it until I've got all 20 of those participation rewards, so to 20 Twilight Crystals. And after that, there's not much more to do. Um, that pretty much covers all the priorities. I'll just repeat the ads for the Twilight Crystal again in 12 hours. And then I'll join Colosseum. Make sure you try and do Colosseum every day so that you get these Colosseum rewards. And then that will also get you your daily rewards as well, so it'll get you your purification ticket, which is very useful. Well, that about wraps up my daily Cineralis events and how I prioritise my AP as a free-to-play player. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment as well if you have any suggestions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.